it's your boy Joshua here making another video to let you guys know what's been going on in my transition so far. So today is great news. I am actually three months on testosterone. Yes, three months on testosterone and it feels really, really good. And I know I say that a lot, but it really feels really, really good. <laughs> so uh, I have to say it every single time. To be honest, when it comes to changes, there hasn't been any. Uh, there hasn't really been any changes, so, uh, before, I was in the mirror, you know, looking at every single hair that grew, every single, you know, change, you know, close up and everything, and, like, now I find that, um, there hasn't been any changes, so I've just kind of been just, like, laid back and not really looking for much and just, like, seeing what happens, and, you know, the only change that I can, um, tell you that has happened since the last time I... Did a video for you guys i have some hair on the back of my thighs now which is it's uh definitely new because i've never had hair on the back of my thighs before i guess i'm gonna be hairy okay um yeah but uh besides that there hasn't been any changes and that's why i haven't made um any videos because there hasn't been any changes one thing i want to talk about is that i just recently had a conversation with uh one of my old pastors and uh you know i'm not gonna get into what the conversation was about what i what i will say is that you know um everyone's gonna have different opinions about my transition you know sometimes you don't know which one is is the truth or, or not but what i do know is that uh pre-transition um pre-testosterone that pain that I felt that overwhelming sensation of pain that was constant is not so much there anymore. Every day is less and less. I believe in God. For me, I believe that God does not want me in pain. God does not want me in pain. And I also believe that God doesn't want me to be uncomfortable. I also know that God doesn't want me to put drugs and alcohol into my body to get out of myself. And with that being said, um, I don't regret me doing this. Maybe one person is right, maybe one person is wrong, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, I just know that what I'm feeling now is way better than what I was feeling before. I'm happy, you know, that I'm going through this transition, I'm going through this change, and not everyone's going to approve of it, you know. Um, what I believe may be different from what other people believe, and that's all good. I love what my pastor said. She just said to keep God in my heart, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep God in my heart. I'll definitely take that suggestion. Besides that, recently, I was going through a bit of a struggle. The struggle came from me wanting to, you know, have a drink or two, or three or four or five or a hundred. That's just it. You know, like, that's just me. I'm wired that way. I'm always going to think that way. You know what I mean? And it's only my higher power, God, who is going to take that away from me. So I've been building that relationship with God. And um, I know that this is what's working for me right now. I'm getting really, really deep with this conversation. I didn't mean to get this deep, guys. I just really wanted to keep it on the surface. But uh, I guess this thing's just, like, come out. This time, I'm actually focusing on myself. Which is not easy for me to do. It's what I gotta do for me. It's not the best idea to be in a relationship while you're transitioning anyways. Unless you was previously in that relationship before you decided to transition. But getting into a relationship while you're still changing. It can put a little... Put a hindrance on things. Sometimes people are not ready for who you are about to become. They're not ready for the fast pace. Um, they're not ready for what's about to happen in your life. They don't want to let go, you know, of the old you. And uh, grasp the new you. They want to keep holding on to that old person. It's a struggle, but, um, yeah. <sighs> I'm getting deep again, and I'm trying not to. Yeah, I should be starting a training program soon, hopefully. I have an interview with them tomorrow, and hopefully I can get back into school, and um, I can do this uh, building maintenance, plumbing, and electric and uh you know which will lead me to a good you know career path uh, and i've been looking at for that for a while because i've just been like you know working jobs that are kind of like not a career <laughs> so yeah so life is good life is real good real real good so another thing briefly what i wanted to talk about how did i know that i was trans 
So I'm going to make this really, really brief. But I, uh, I guess the title of my story could be I Didn't Know That I Was Transgender. And um, the reason for that title is because going forward, my life didn't make sense. But looking back at it, it makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense now. There's certain things, there's certain situations, you know, that I just couldn't, like, put a finger on. And, like, now I'm able to know what that was about. Like I said, you know, before in previous videos, you know, I just, I was never really a girly girl. I've done the girly thing a few times in my life to please other people because I was so desperate for love that I was willing to do anything for them to love me. And, um... I pleased them by dressing girly and being who they wanted me to be. And uh, now, for the first time, I'm being who I feel like I am on the inside. I'm being who I want to be. I felt like all my life I've been trying to transition, naturally. You know, I felt like, you know, I kept going and going and going and, and transitioning more and more and more. You know, I felt like I hit a brick wall. I hit a brick wall and there was no more natural transitioning for me to do. There was no more road left until I was able to see that I can go further than where I was. Until I was able to accept myself for who I am and not care what other people think about me. When that happened, I was able to move forward in my transition. And I was able to realize that there is a title for me. It was something that was there all along, but I just didn't label myself with the name. So that's why I say, I didn't know I was trans. But when I finally did know, I knew. Life made sense. I'm grateful for that moment. I'm going through one of the most exciting things that I'm going to go through in my whole entire life. I'm going to be happy in the end. I'm going to be happy in the end. And that's what truly matters. Everyone has their different form of happiness, but my form of happiness may be different from yours. But at least I know what that form of happiness is today. Feels good. What I want to know is if there is any topics <clears throat> that anybody wants me to speak on, you know, or talk about. Um, that'll help me out. So, you know, just let me know. Leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Just uh, real quick, I forgot to mention a little tiny segue, but um, my mustache is like legit. Can you see it now? Ah, there it goes. There it goes. It's legit. Yeah, man. Peace. Yeah, with that being said, it's your boy Joshua. Over and out. Hi, my name is Joshua, and this is my voice pre-testosterone. Hi, my name is Joshua, and this is my voice one month on T. Hi, my name is Joshua, and this is my voice two months on T. Hi, my name is Joshua, and this is my voice three months on T.